the future of artificial intelligence looks bleak with this one piece of news the world woke up to a few days ago. Jeffrey Hinton, who is considered the godfather of AI, decided to call it quits with Google. He resigned from his position as vice president and engineering fellow there. This move was prompted over Jeffrey's concerns of how the developments in the field of AI could cause potential harm to the human race. He purportedly left the tech giant so that he can talk more about the dangers of AI without having to worry about the self-censorship that comes with working for Google. So, who is Jeffrey Hinton and why is his move to quit Google an important pivot in this era of artificial intelligence? Well, Jeffrey Hinton is a London-based AI scientist and cognitive psychologist best known for his unprecedented contributions to the world of AI. His work on artificial neural networks and Google's machine learning is widely known in the AI community. In an interview with the New York Times, Hinton revealed that he regretted his life's work and contributions because of the unseeable future we face now. He mentioned, quote unquote, the idea that this stuff could actually get smarter than people, a few people believed that. But most people thought it was way off. And I thought it was way off. I thought it was 30 to 50 years or even longer away. Obviously, I no longer think that. So what does all this mean in the context of developments in the AI space? To understand this better, let's quickly go through the recent timeline of AI events. It all started with OpenAI launching ChatGPT in November 2022. This release of an accessible AI-powered tool became an instant hit among people. OpenAI's competitors, Google and Microsoft, got themselves in this race of launching LLMs to keep up with the trends. Following which, a moratorium to pause AI experiments for six months by Future of Life Institute was signed by the likes of Elon Musk and Steve Wozniak. It is important to note that Elon Musk, who signed this moratorium, allegedly went on to start his own AI company called X.AI. Whereas Jeffrey Hinton, who did not sign it, eventually quit Google so he could talk about the dangers of AI. With tech conglomerates making power moves and wanting to rush launching AI tools without proper testing or timing, and tech gurus making decisions that seem to be lacking forethought, we may be right in saying that the AI space has descended into chaos. Let's hope there will be more clarity in the future, and importantly, if the scales will tip in favor of making AI responsible and ethical. I will catch you in another episode. Bye.